Don't you think your struggle is useless? Just like the useless person that you are? Oh, it's so unfortunate that you try to escape, but you should know by now that you will never escape. Hmm, let me see, let me think. You've tried to escape around 25 times. And all 25 times, they were all failed. So, what makes you think in that stupid little head of yours that trying to escape is still... What's the word? That it's still going to work. Oh, are you giving me the silent treatment now? Uh, this isn't the first time you gave me the silent treatment. This is very sad. You know I don't like it when you give me the silent treatment. It's so weird, though. You don't give anyone else the silent treatment, especially that boy that you talk to. What's his name again? I forgot. But then again, it shouldn't matter. What was that? Was that a text? I thought... <laughs> I, I thought... That I took away your phone. Didn't I take away your phone? Answer me right now. Did I take away your phone? It's a yes or no question. I don't think it's that hard to answer. There you go. See, I did take away your phone. So, can you explain to me what that sound was? I am really, really curious to know what it is. After all, I'm pretty sure, like I said before, I took away your phone, and y y you said that I did. So, what? Else could it be? I don't recall you bringing any electron electronics other than your phone. Do you have anything to say for yourself? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, I don't think stuttering will help you all that much. I mean, think about it. Um... What what do you think it uh, what do you think it's going <laughs> I can't think straight because this shouldn't happen. What do you think will happen if you don't explain yourself? Do you think that this will result in anything good? That's right, you're correct. It won't result in anything good. So Answer me. What is your explanation? What was that vibration? And what was that sound? Do you have another phone with you? You do? Give me it. I said... <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't lose my temper now. But... Please, hand me that other phone. Don't make this harder than what it has to be. You, you're... <laughs> you're really making this difficult. Maybe you like this sort of thing. Maybe you like it when I force you to do things. Do you? Do you want it to, to make things more fun for you? Because I surely can.
<laughs> Hold it still and don't fucking move. Ah, there's your phone. Who the hell texted you? Oh, damn it, I can't see the notification. What's your password? Tell me. <laughs> Tell me your password right now. If this password is wrong, you will get a very, very nice punishment. So, <laughs> are you sure that this is your actual password? We shall see. Oh, it was! You actually told me the truth! You weren't playing any games as that you always like to play. Ah, uh, you understand the importance of this issue that we have. Who is this person, by the way? Who is this boy? After all, my favorite, my sweet little boy, texting another boy. Who is this person named? Who is this person named Aaron? Because if memory served me correctly, I don't recall anyone named Aaron that you know. I only know the other person, but he's been dealt with, of course. So, care to tell me who is this? Aaron. Oh, a friend, of course. I don't know what else I expected for you to say. A friend, a friend, a friend, a fucking friend. <laughs> oh, is that such a great excuse? I love it. It's so not original at all. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. A new person to play with. Oh, but unfortunately, they won't really last long. Oh, it also seems like you've been talking to them but lo <laughs> long before. I've met you too from looking at the message chat history. So you've known this person even longer than the other person. Oh, this is rich, I tell you. Absolutely fucking rich. Uh, this is great. <laughs> well, perhaps I shouldn't just play with him. At first, I was just thinking of playing with him for one day, two days, a week. Ooh, another text. I wonder what this text is, but like I was saying, maybe I should play with him for a whole two weeks at least, a month at most, just to give him false sense of hope. It'll be so fun, can you imagine? the pain on his face when he finds out that he wasn't getting anywhere, seeing that very false light at the end of the tunnel, but in reality, it was death, the glow of death at the end. Oh, that is great. That's such a wonderful thought. Yes, I shall do that. <laughs> Perhaps I'll just put this phone over here for now. Oh. And don't think about even trying to contact anyone else, because <laughs> I made sure that act that you just did, well, actually, I will 
make sure I haven't done it yet, unfortunately. But I will make sure that act, that cute little stunt you did, my sweet boy, will never happen again. Is that clear? I said, is that clear? Good boy, my cute, sweet little boy. You're slowly, very slowly, not to my liking, but you're slowly understanding your new life. That will be quite permanent. Ah, <sighs> well, perhaps if you can learn to be a good, obedient boy, maybe, maybe you may get better living arrangements, or <laughs> you can finally get the privilege to sleep with me in my own room. It'll be very, very sweet. I know it would be. <laughs> ah, that would be such a great thought. Uh, let's see, what else? So I dealt with him. I will soon deal with Aaron. Saying his name makes my insides turn. <laughs> And hopefully, that should be it. Besides the law, of course. But what is the law? <laughs> Perfect. I think everything is set. Aaron will be placed in my cute trap. And you will continue to learn how to be that cute, obedient Boy, that you are meant to be. Understand? <laughs> ah, you're slowly getting it. It's so cute to see. Mm. <laughs> well, for now, you must unfortunately stay here, even though it really pains me to keep you down here. You must stay down here for your own sanity and safety, and also for my own sanity, because you are notoriously known for causing up a, a stir ag with against, I don't want to use that word against, but it is true, against our totally non-toxic relationship. <laughs> so... For now, I shall leave you be. I'll check on you in... Oh, how sweet. Another text. Please pardon me while I check this. But I shall leave you alone for now. And I shall check back on you in about, let's say, 20 minutes. So, have fun. I love you, my sweet baby boy. <laughs>